Hey, it's Taylor. Welcome to August Squadron 42 Development Report. Today, Jack asked me to talk about the latest progress made across the campaign, including AI perception, vehicle UI, and ambient audio. In August, Squadron 42's development team focused on enhancing AI features. They tackled issues related to NPCs failing to recognize targets' deaths or repeated situations, which caused disruptive bugs. Cover usage was fine-tuned with improved functionality and animations for diverse scenarios. Tactical point system adjustments were made for better AI movement in new combat locations. Ammunition balancing was implemented, maintaining realism in reload and ammo finding mechanics. Combat received attention with refinements in low and high cover reload animations for various weapons and the introduction of female animations. The team also initiated Marine Squad hand signal animations to enhance group dynamics in combat. In AI Tech's August update, significant improvements were made to the Apollo Subsumption tool, introducing undo and redo capabilities for streamlined mission and behavior design. They also enhanced Subsumption data validation, aiding designers in quicker mission adjustments. Regarding the Boyd's feature, Progress continued on enabling agents like rats and birds to exhibit various states and seamless transitions. They're actively seeking terrain-keeping solutions during agent movement. In NPC audio perception, new functionality was implemented to determine audio stimulus audibility based on room connections. Navigation links received attention, addressing issues with connecting triangles from different zones and animating transitions between zones, like NPCs jumping from hovering ships. Investigations commenced into performance concerns with the navigation system and Pathfinder. In August, Vehicle AI tackled issues hindering new features. They resolved aiming system problems for NPC accuracy and collaborated with level designers to fix AI glitches. Next, they'll enhance game-wide flight AI for improved gameplay during flight sections. In the animation department, collaboration with level and AI designers resulted in animations for various locations. Player actions are being refined, including slides, basic movement, and weapon usage. This involves adjusting weapon malfunctions, interactions with the environment, and more. Combat AI for both enemies and civilians saw progress, with a focus on level-specific scenes. Motion capture aided in narrative additions and AI improvements. Facial animations enriched flight and ground combat, along with cast character polish. Overall, animation work continues to enhance Squadron 42's immersive experience. In August, Squadron 42's audio team achieved several milestones. They focused on providing sound effects for upstream strike team's work, making post-alpha improvements. The Waller, crowd audio system, advanced significantly, enhancing localized ambient chatter. Foley sound effects were added to cinematic animations, enriching the audio layers. SQ-42-specific weapons received unique sound designs, promising an immersive experience. Puzzle sound effects were crafted, showcasing innovation, and in-game gadgets like flashbangs were fine-tuned. Post-alpha improvements also enhanced game environments with subtle ambience, building on the existing framework. Expect a more immersive Squadron 42 audio experience. The Gameplay Features team made progress on the Vehicle Radar's landing UI, allowing players to view the landing area. They enhanced camera transitions from first-person to cinematic views for smoother transitions. Additionally, crane controller functionality was expanded, hints and tutorials improved, and MobiGlass features refined, enhancing the overall gameplay experience. In August, vehicle features made strides in Squadron 42 development. They improved the self-status UI, adding details on quantum travel and fuel with UI art team support. The turret variant of the self-status MFD now displays 3D turret models, further enhanced by UI artists. The vehicle loadout terminal nears completion, featuring group equipping functionality and an AR display for ship customization. Vehicle aiming changes, similar to ADS, are under exploration. Progress on the resource network includes support for fuel and power usage in various vehicle components. Vehicle features also aided level design with bug fixing and technical support. The 
gameplay story team primarily supported improvements and additions related to the Idris ship. They enhanced deck crew track views, added animations and prop interactions to mess hall scenes, and introduced new turret content. Mocap data aided in dialogue changes and scene transitions, and they geared up for upcoming narrative shoots, aiming for smooth implementation of around 20 new scenes. The graphics and VFX programming team made significant strides. Temporal super resolution implementation was enhanced. Water shaders received improved lighting and foam effects. The glint shading model prototype was completed, offering performance options. Distant lights were revamped for post effects compatibility. Tooling wise, the streaming debugger and mesh setup editor were expanded for better asset management. Vulcan sub-team introduced new extensions, VFX programming added smoke spawning on fire and improved visuals, lightning effects were upgraded for future use in gas clouds, the team continues to push for impressive visual enhancements in Squadron 42. In August, level design team focused on Idris interstitials. Social narrative and AI content collaborated on crew behaviours, adding background vignettes in the Idris hangar for player immersion, including maintenance and pre-flight preparations. Efforts to make the Idris subtly move during interstitials began, enhancing the experience. In August, the narrative team played a pivotal role in performance capture shoots, collaborating with level designers to refine level scripts. They worked with core gameplay and audio teams to detail wildline scripts, including new and returning characters. Subtitle validation was completed for accuracy. The team also focused on defining collectibles and content for the Squadron 42 Galactopedia, enhancing the game's lore. In August, R&D focused on temporal rendering for atmosphere and volumetric clouds, exploring frame history solutions. They introduced a disocclusion detection system for history rejection. Code updates aligned with Gen 12 improvements. VFX made progress on fire propagation visuals, enhancing smoke buildup and fire particle effects with fog volumes for a more realistic portrayal. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to get more updates on the Squadron's 42 development. See you next time.